Hi everyone! I decided to remake Holly O'Hare's bed and in this video I'm going to show you what I did and of course ask for your comments, thoughts, and opinions. But first, let's take a look at her old bed. I did like the old bed. I did get quite a few good ideas, one of them from a YouTuber named Zelda Cats, and I wanted to see if I could do better. Also the head the headboard is bowing out. You see that how it's kind of curving a little bit backwards? And I felt like maybe it was too flimsy and I should try to make something a little bit more sturdy. So at Michael's I found this birdhouse. This is actually a birdhouse, but it reminds me of Rapunzel's tower and I just decided I had to use it somehow in Holly's new bed. But first I was going to paint it this grape taffy color and I did that and I also added some fuchsia and gold to the tower. The fuchsia accents to me look a little bit messy but my daughter begged me not to change it. She said she loved it. And ultimately this is for her so this is a Michael Smooth Foam Block, $3.99. During this bed making process, I used two sheets of felt, one lavender, one fuchsia, for $0.25 cents each. I had some purple tulle left over from her previous bed, but I also bought a new lavender tulle. I believe this was about $3.99 as well. I'm going to use two kinds of cording, one gold and one black with gold detail. And I'm also going to use these two bags of Ofre accessories that were found in Michael's wedding section for $3.99 a piece. One contains 50 lavender flowers, the other 18 fuchsia flowers. Then I really like this very thick ribbon that they sell by the yard. And I also like this vine of flowers that look to me like lavender morning glories and they sold, they sold that by the yard can't believe I said selled. Uh, this is a gold ribbon that also reminded me of a braid. So first I kind of started off blindly. I didn't really know what I was doing. I hot glued the purple and dark purple tool to both sides of the smooth foam block. By the way, you can see what a mess my crafting area is, so please forgive that. I'm going to clean it up. And then I hot glued the lavender felt over the bed. So it's a bit lumpy, as you can see. And then I'm gonna hot glue a this gold cord that looks like a ribbon around all of the bed and also hold that tool down that's sticking out. Then I had three of these dowel rods, and each one of them I painted bright yellow or gold, and I wound the length of the vine around them and hot glued them to hold them down. I also found a laser cut crown for about 99 cents and I hot glued it, oh no I didn't, I painted it with this splendid gold color. This is what I came up with. Now I'm going to hot glue these fuchsia flowers to the crown and that's what the crown now looks like I'm using that as her foot, uh, as her sort of kind of headboard. To make her blanket, I took the fuchsia felt and I'm going to be hot gluing these gold braids across. But you don't have to go, um, go the whole way because the top of the ribbon will cover it. And then I'm going to go the other way so that I'm creating these diamonds. And then I'm going to hot glue the lavender flowers to the center of each diamond to give her a princessy look. And now I've hot glued lavender flowers on most of the diamonds. And this is where the black cord with the gold detail comes in. I will be hot gluing this around the edges of the blanket. Here I've hot glued three sides, but it still seems to be missing something, so to finish it off, I hot glued the top and bottom of the top ribbon. And I love her blanket now. This piece of material I had left over from Briar's bed, I'm going to fold it, hot glue two sides of it, turn it inside out, 
hot glue two lavender flowers to the outside of it, stuff the middle with toilet paper, hot glue the fourth side, and voila, this is Holly's pillow. So then what I did was I hot glued the bed to the tower, and then I hot glued two of the poles to the side away from the tower. And then I hot glued a length of gold cord down the middle that looks kind of like Rapunzel's braid because in order for Holly to get up into this bed, she's gonna have to climb up that braid. Finish the tower off with the vines and then also hot glued the third dowel rod to the other side to make her a headboard, quote unquote headboard, with that crown. See? Then I took the gold cord and hot glued it to that side of the bed as well so that Holly could climb up the braid on either side of her bed and swing herself up. I thought that would be kind of humorous because she is Rapunzel's daughter. She gets to have a taste of what it's like to climb up. So now let's finish the bed off. Here is her pillow. Which side was it? I think it was this side. And now let's stick the blanket on. And there it goes. Ta-da! Do you guys like it? Let's see how it goes with Holly. Come here, Holly. How do you like your new bed? I think you look fabulous with it. Now let's look at it from the other side. Yep. I also hot glued two fuchsia flowers to the ends of the pole and put Holly in her bed. Whoa, her face is really close to the ceiling of the shelf. I doubt she could really turn over. So it's a good thing that she's a doll and doesn't actually need to sleep. And here's Holly's new bed on the left and her old bed on the right, just as a comparison. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.